Hi, Crafty Vicky here with you. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm sharing some new release. I'm very excited about them. I hope that you will be as well. Um, I made some painty paper and then painty uh, little um, ATC cards. So artists playing cards, or those are actual playing cards that I've, I've transformed. So I've got a bunch of different things that are in the store right now. So there's the set of these, which is a set of five um, card size, these, and then I have, I made some cards uh, that I will, sh I will share this um, uh, card making video on in my Patreon uh, next month. So there's all of these cards that I made and and then I've used these to make some digital sets uh, which you will see I've also used I also made a set of 10 uh, embellishments so and these are also in my store so there's all kinds of different little embellishments that I've that are all and made um, the ones that have the buttons are all stitched so it's a set of those and then uh, finally but not the least um, there's my digital sets and for those let me put this away so that it doesn't get cut up with the rest of the stuff so I made some I made first of all the May newsletter freebie so this will have been released already if you're part of the newsletter you will have received this um, this is for your own personal use so please do not share it um, ask people to come and join if they want to have uh, the freebies and yeah I'm, so I'm working on um, this one was printed on the, uh, a part of paper that I had already printed so that's why you see this but these are just printed with regular printer uh, mine is uh, one of those brother uh, all-in-one that can fax that can print that can photocopy uh, scan <laughs> all of those good things um, so I made that for the newsletter freebie and then I also made this here for my patreon so they got that freebie set here as part of their the month of May and then I made a set that of digital set um, that will be in my store so you can go and check it out there's two pieces of paper and then there's also the card toppers and then a, a sheet with some of the smaller cards uh, this one I made it a little bit bigger a border and then you have different little elements that can be used so this is what we're using today um, all the link to what I've mentioned will be in the description box below the digital set obviously you can get at any time the rest since they're physical products um, there's only those quantities once they're gone they're gone and yeah I hope that you've enjoyed I, I my set ended up I worked so hard on this and um, I ended up having a lot more cards and, and playing around with combinations and things so I'm gonna be using the sa similar um, the same elements but in different ways and well not exactly the same elements I'm, I'm saying this all wrong but the elements that I've used here are not going to be repeat repeated in another set however I still have leftover pieces as you saw there was many um, and so I made many more digital um, images and I'm going to be making another digital set using similar the same type of colors uh, but different elements and I will be doing another my June newsletter will be with that as well and the uh, the new patreon freebie for the month of June will also be with those elements because I have quite a lot and so I'm trying to work smarter and not harder um, it takes me a long time to make all of these elements like all the borders and stuff so it's smarter to 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 split them in different sets um, this way because I was like we're already at the middle of the month of May and I just released the newsletter 
so then I would have only two weeks left to work on the next newsletter stuff and like I, I'm not it, it, it's crazy so I want to be able to enjoy my creativity um, and at the same same time uh, share some freebies with you guys as well as uh, make some digital sets that I can sell so I'm trying to work smarter and that's that's my goal uh, right now I need to blow my nose I have big time allergies I don't know what it is this year but it's it's bad it's not just um, like I had them at my dad's I have them everywhere now so anyway so yeah, so today we're going to be making some cards using these, um, the digital set from my Patreon as well as the, the digital set that you can purchase. I'm going to set the timer and go for it. Um, these I made using a label maker and one of the things I wanted to do uh, when we're going to be making the, these cards is to... What did I do with my... I put away the card base that I need for my cards. Um, one of the things that I'm thinking that we can do is use um, this to make to bring it up um, on some of the elements that are already made. So yes, you can use the ones that I've provided, but you can also, if you want to make it even like pop even more, you can actually um, type it and, and use your own, you know? So I've gotten, I, I pulled out this here, which I thought would be fun to use for this. And I'm thinking I want to distress the edges. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna play with these. That's the beauty of these sets, is you can reprint them as much as you want. Um, the good thing too that you can do, I'm wondering if I want to keep the white edge uh, I don't think so I think I'm gonna go all the way to the um, the thing that you can do if if you don't have a printer but you do have a computer you can download these and get them printed at your local staples and they could pr print it out uh, for you um, in case you're interested in, in, in making and in using these sets but you don't have a printer that's an option but I'm not sure that you could use them if you don't have a computer at all um, that I think you would be kind of st stuck um, maybe I'm mistaken and, and it's feasible through using your phone uh, but I'm not sure at all that it is so I'm just going to make a couple because if I'm going to distress them, I might as well distress a few. Because it's all the same color scheme, so uh, I thought this color scheme really reminded me of a spring. It was also a color scheme that was uh, suggested by a previous purchaser um, and I thought it would be it would be fun to to do these cards and I've totally loved it like loved it and I still have quite a lot of the I had made the painting papers and I still have big sheets the 12 by 12 um, I still have two full sheets of the painting paper that I did and I had glued uh, different things on it um, so I still have those and so I'm thinking that I'm gonna be making some other cards using these uh, I might also scan them so anyway uh, this when I do painty papers and such I try to do a big batch because it is messy process and it's much easier when you're doing multiple at the same time so that you're not pulling out all your supplies uh, many many times over but that's always a possibility if that's what you wanted uh, you could also do that you know do one at a time um, obviously makes it more unique 
when you do multiple, uh, they tend to be in the same color scheme and, and such. But yeah, so those are all options. Hope you're doing well it's been really sunny here I uh, started planting some stuff at, at the studio trying to um, to get it to look nice in the front uh, I have tenants that are going to be moving in soon hopefully it won't be too noisy when I make my videos um, I hope we shall see um, but it was a goal to have a tenant at least to pay for some of the, uh, some of the space, especially since I'm not yet, uh, at a stage where I can have, uh, you know, I would love to give classes and stuff like that in the future. And if so, then maybe I, I would need the full house or it would be fun to do retreats. Uh, and that sort of thing, but I'm not there yet. So when I am, then I can things can be changed and we can do different things. But for now, this is just uh, the way it is. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with this, and then I, I'm going to take it from there. Um, let's use. Let's use. I think I want to use maybe maybe this element first. My Patreon one. And then after I could use the other one. Uh, I'm gonna cut this down. Oh no, I can't cut it that way. I'm gonna have to just cut it. But I can cut this down though. This way it's gonna make it easier to cut using my um I wonder if this would go in between. Oh yeah. So I can use that. Can kind of cut around this. Okay, so got a few pieces here, and then I can cut using my smaller guillotine. So this, if you're part of my Patreon, you will have received uh, this sheet of freebie. And it's it's offered from uh, for all the tiers, so including the the two dollar tier, which makes it I think a good deal. Cause you get a a freebie sheet that it takes me a while to like I said to create these and just a nice little extra that my Patreons can then use. How pretty is that, right? Already, like, you've got a big part of your card done. Now, on, uh, on the... And then, of course, you can use different elements. Like, you could put this, or you can put uh, another element uh, smaller, or you could put, like, m multiple of this, Let's say we do this. Let's say we use that one. So I'm just going to cut around it a little bit better. 
I'm going to remove the black and re-ink it. Just so that it's a little bit smaller and it will showcase the, um, the rest of, like it will showcase this part as well. Um, and so let's go back with my marker. I'm just going to edge it. You could round off the corners. That might have been pretty. And just like that. So it makes for very fast cards and can make a whole set that is uh, all color coordinated, which is nice sometimes. And here it is. So I really like how it looks like it looks raised up which is the, the point of doing this that I, I love so much. Okay, then uh, for this one, we c I could use this here, which is part of the digital set. And I could go just like that, but I'm thinking that it might be pretty to use this underneath. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just cut the little white edge. And then decide how big I want this. I want it about here. And uh, like so. choose which which part that you want. I think I'm going to choose that side. And then, just to finish this one off, I think I'm going to use my abundant coral and edge the edge of both it's, um, this as well as that. You don't have to, I just think it's going to give a better look and make it look even more handmade okay, now this one can go whichever way um, I'm thinking I want to put a sentiment and use the methods that I just told you about so I'm gonna print out on my little uh, dymo a word and these dymos you can get them for you can get some fake ones uh, fairly cheap with the um, 
with the actual uh, um, tape in them. Uh, so I'm going to just put high. And here we go. And now the question is, do I want it to be at the top or at the bottom? I'm not sure. So I do I want it like this, whoops, like that, or do I want it like that? And I think I want it that way. So I'm just going to cut this off a little bit more. Put it in here, like so. And glue this down. Like that. And now I, I could, I'm thinking I want to add a little bit of more um, dimension to this. So let's use some pearls. Just to give that extra little dimension don't have to obviously and it's also a good way of, for me to use up my stash got the stuff might as well use it right whoops there we go so there's that then I could use an extra little pearl inside this which could be pretty and give an added dimension to the element so see how you can add your own stuff to it uh, you could also fussy cut any of the elements that are in there um, that's also different because because you can pr reprint them as many times as you want um, you don't have to be afraid of fussy cutting some of the elements and then using them in whichever way you want um, that's just a fun way of, of doing this. Um, now I have this paper here, which I think would be fun to use as a base. And I still have it from previous projects. So I'm just gonna use it. And, uh, might be a little bit big okay, so. here we go so use up your own stuff and make make this become whatever you want uh, you don't have to be using only the elements that that are provided in the sheet you can make it your own with your own way of creating see that's gonna be pretty And I could actually layer this as well. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut this a little bit closer. And 
I'm going to go around the edge again with the black. But for this one, I think I'm going to also use my tool, crocodile, to, where is it? Um, to do my little corners. Big. Yeah, just the little rounding. Just to make it. more like the actual playing card that it was at one point uh, so use that and then let's use some black just gonna color in a little bit of the white edge that's showing You could obviously cut out any of the elements that are on here as well. That's what I love about these is that, you know, because they're your own, you can use use them in any which way you want. Um, and they're, you can reprint them as many times as you want, so it's not like you're stuck with, with just one sheet and then if you mess up, that's it. Um, you have many different options at your disposal, so I think that's fun. So I'm going to use that. I didn't play with my printer settings, but you could also adjust the amount of ink that you use and therefore uh, change the way you um it prints that's an option as well so there's that now i could use one of the the little uh i could use one of these elements so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put happy day. You could make happy birthday, but Oops. Here we go. Just gonna I think that's pretty. So let's put that aside. And voila, we've got another card done. Um, do I want to add something? Maybe. It's a bit much, unless I go with the just the white. I 
Why not? Everything looks better with bling. Oh god, it might as well use it. So here we go. And what's fun is is I've made I've made quite a lot of cards in a very short amount of time. Um, this I'm thinking I want to leave as it is. And then maybe I can cut this down to this. Use that. My opening. Well, good thing I checked because I was gonna glue it down on the, and it wouldn't have opened properly. Okay, so there. And then I'm thinking I want to use possibly this on top. So. I love this little lacy flower. I think it turned out really cute. So like that. And then I could put Hello or let's try the hello Do I want it? Do I not want it? I like to create as well. edges it could be fun and then what if I was to use don't want to use the coral This one would look. Let's try that. The Distress Marigold. Let's try it out on a piece of white. Yeah, that could be pretty. Yeah, so I'm going to use that. Just to give an extra little something to this. I'm going to do the same thing to the paper as well to tie it together. I like the distress edges, it fits with the distress edge there and it's a piece of paper that was going to be in my stash for a long time so 
this way I'm using it. I'm getting my st stuff used up, all those little pieces, which is great. Stop uh, and put that there. Do I put that there? Whatever. Yeah, right over here. And that's the last one. So we've made four cards in 30 minutes, um, which I think is a pretty good uh, combination because I did distress all the edges, and that takes a little bit longer. Well, I hope that you felt that was inspiring. Um, as I said, all the links will be in the description box below for the pro new products. I really hope you, you like them. And looking forward to uh, knowing what you think about them. Hopefully, as I said, you're going to love them. Um, and don't forget that there's a freebie sheet offered with my newsletter but there's also one offered with patreon so if you want to join in to patreon this is a great uh, opportunity for you guys to get extra freebies so love you guys so much take care and see you soon bye <laughs>